University, where you take adult stuff and cut into kid-sized pieces. My name is Ms. A, and today I'll be talking to you about the triple win. With that being said, let's get started, shall we? So let's talk about the win. Well, each of us are born into this broken world. Some of us in favorable circumstances, others of us are born into less than stellar circumstances, but all of us come to know in one way or another, whether we're taught by our environment or we glean from our environment, that this world is ran by survival of the fittest. And so we quickly, consciously and unconsciously, gear our life and our mind around and our will and, and goals, etc., around this very essence. And we each desire to be validated in every area of life, um, but we prioritize it differently according to how we see life and who we are as people. Some people value family and love over money and the other people, vice versa. So, and there's a plethora of other areas of life, of course, this is just an example. But what I'm simply saying is that because we are geared to innately want to survive, then the template is survival of the fittest and we try to apply that whether we consciously or unconsciously apply that we spend our time money and effort towards the things that will validate us in the areas of life that we see as important whatever we do it all threads that back down to the core of wanting to be validated in and of itself the win is not bad but left unchecked it can wreak, wreak havoc on society overall. And it's hard for humanity to flourish and to thrive with when it is all about self. And when we recognize that, we realize that that in and of itself is a lower level of existence that leads to nowhere. So then we realize there's something else that we need. And that brings me to my next point, which is the win-win. The win-win says everybody comes out a winner. I will give and take and accommodate so that you can give, take, and accommodate. And together, we can all thrive. We can all flourish together. And this is supposed to be what humanity is like. No matter how hard we try as quote unquote good people to sustain the win-win, the, the, that nature of wanting to be the best still wants to prevail and starts to creep back up in our motives in, in our in our words and our actions um, and so it undercuts the win-win usually because it can't be sustained um, and so what is humanity to do because we have to flourish together we have to thrive together which brings me to my last point which is the win-win-win so not too long ago, I was talking to someone about the fact that there used to be action-packed heroes who were just men who used their brains and their bronze to overcome the conflict, the evil, or what have you in the movies. And how that has kind of slowly died down or out altogether. And there's more superhero movies. And he said, oh no, we have them still. They're just now superhero movies. So I begin to think to myself, it could be that art is imitating life, whereby we recognize that we need something more than within our human understanding and abilities to, to perhaps sustain the win-win. And there we have Jesus, who is perfectly human and perfectly God, and is the bridge between God the Father and human nature. So he is the true advocate. And he is not a color, he's not black, he's not white, he is transparent in all things. He's the, he is transparent as in that he is the truth. And when you genuinely seek him, he shows up. With Jesus, the win-win can be sustained outwardly um, in, the, in your areas of life and that you personally can win-win-win with him. He can take your past and make everything work for your good and to his glory. In his, in his presence and in your present state, he can help you navigate through life and all the while protecting you and growing you as, um, growing you as in maturity and in love 
and ability to sustain the win-win that you want to see in every area of your life. And in the future, you win because whether we're talking about earthly existence of, of, of the future, he has it all taken care of. And with him, you can't misstep because he's always guiding. Even your missteps are turned into steps that lead you back to his path. So, and in, in the ending of life, and that's already taken care of. And what I want to tell you is that Jesus is real and he loves you. And it's not about being perfect enough to, to then go to him. It's just about being truthful in seeking him and making that a daily thing and not a simple prayer and then walking away. So I just want to encourage you that Jesus loves you and he is all around you and he's just waiting to have a relationship with you. And we all need Jesus to sustain the win-win and to win-win-win in our lives. today just a little bit about the win 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 thank you for attending class go ahead and do your homework by subscribing to this channel commenting and those of this video my name is Ms. A and until next time remember you must be this tall to pay bills